Hebi Robotics is introducing MAPS, a modular absolute positioning system that enables rich, full coverage inspections on surfaces of any geometry. The system consists of a lightweight arm and a portable control box. It also includes an iPad for the user interface. The arm consists of a series of knuckles. Each knuckle uh, consists of two joints that allow continuous rotation and are modular so that they can be assembled into an arm of any shape. The control box is battery powered and interfaces to both the arm as well as external scanners and flaw detectors. To begin an inspection, the arm needs to be fixed to a surface. Uh, in this video, I'm showing clamping it to the pipe that we're going to inspect, but it can be mounted to a support or really anything else that fixes the base with respect to the asset that you're going to inspect. The next step of an inspection is to register the surface to the base of the arm. In this case, we're doing a pipe elbow, and if you have knowledge of the geometry of things like pipe elbows, yeah, you can use this information to speed up the registration process. So for example, we know the parameters of the pipe. This is an 8-inch long 90-degree elbow, and so we can actually register the entire surface with just four points on the intradose and extradose. After training the initial points, you can confirm that the registration is valid, and then begin inspection. As you scan, MAPS measures the full position and orientation of the probe and uses this information to fill in a 2D gridded C scan that's mapped onto the actual 3D geometry. With our initial system, we're focusing on UT inspection, but this process can be used with anything that measures surface thickness. Because you're always measuring the position of the probe live and you know how close the probe is to the surface, the operator is free to inspect the surface any way that, uh, any way that works. So if they need to take a break and move around the surface, come back and start scanning from a different side, maps can do that. You can, you can fill in later on. So in this case, I took a break, moved around to the other side, and then continued sweeping the other side of, from, of the surface from an angle that was, that was more accommodating. In this case, I was able to complete a 1-inch gridded scan of an entire 8-inch elbow in just under 10 minutes. And finally, another advantage of this is if there's areas you can't reach, like supports, taps, nozzles, uh, they just show up as blank areas on the 3D view, kind of in their full context. MAPS is not just limited to pipe elbows and can be used to inspect really any 3D surface by putting a loose grid of 2D points on top of it. You can think of this as uh, putting a 2D map on the surface of the Earth. Uh, with enough points, you can stretch a surface and appropriately grid it to provide an inspection. So in this case, I'm setting up a surface that uh, spans part of the straight pipe across the weld onto the elbow, and we'll begin a scan. In this case, I'm scanning on a 5 millimeter grid, and I'm also viewing everything in the flat 2D view. A really important thing to point out here is that we are saving all the data that's coming into the system. What we're displaying is all of the average data that sits within that 5 millimeter grid. So as you cross through a grid, anything in, in there is being stored. We can calculate the min, the max, the mean, the median, whatever statistics you need on that grid. So we're storing much more information than what a typical scanning systems normally provide. And this allows us to do things that are actually really interesting. So I've identified a, a small spot that didn't seem to go away as I was sweeping over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the grid size down to one millimeter. And what you'll see is that the data on the overall area is a lot sparser, but we can fill in that particular area in a lot more detail. And that reveals that that thin spot was not an anomaly, and we can flesh it out now in much more detail. And so again, we're storing all the data of the entire inspection and just viewing it kind of in whatever grid density we want. So this is going back to a 10 millimeter grid size. Here's all the data on a 5 millimeter grid size. Here it is at 2 millimeters. And once again at 1 millimeter. And now we're going back to a 10 millimeter grid size and we're going to continue on with the inspection. And so again, on the other side of that weld, we've now found uh, another spot that looks like a thin spot. So now I can go and I can increase the grid size 
This time I'll go to two millimeters. And again, we can really focus on this area, provide more detail. When you're finished with an inspection, all the data can be uploaded uh, for analysis and for you to grab later. If you have an internet connection, you can upload it on the spot. Otherwise, you can do it the next time the iPad has a good internet connection. And again, it's important to reiterate that we're storing all the data that happened during that run, all the 3D motion of the arm, all the A scans in the case of this UT data, really everything related to the motion and the time that was taken to do this inspection. Another way of working with maps is to use it in conjunction with an external flaw detector to generate a corrosion map. The maps control box can integrate with any system that takes encoder inputs. Examples are systems from Olympus, ZTEC, and Edify. In this case, I'm moving over the surface just like I did before on a one inch grid, and I'm storing the minimum wall thickness at each point. Using an external flaw detector means that you can use equipment that you already have to scan a much wider range of surfaces with maps and you don't have to change anything about your existing reporting requirements. You're still using the same tools, same software, same processes to generate those C-scans. You can now just do them faster and more reliably on a wider range of assets. Hebi is already working with partners to test maps in the field, and we will be delivering systems at the end of this summer in 2020. If you'd like to find out more, please visit us at hebi-ndt.com. Thank you for your time. Please stay safe and wash your hands.